one day is a day too long in terms of delay. One day is a day too long. And I want to commend you for the, the, the steps you have taken, very proactive um, um, so far. So one day is a day too long in terms of delay. One day is a day too long. And um, we just want to hear from you and see if we can keep this thing moving. Make sure that our, that our members, our citizens, who, are our, who we represent, who are calling us morning, afternoon, night, calling, uh, just to give them some kind of moral booster. Uh, the House decided that the leader of the House and the chairman to so let them know that they have not been forgotten, to go with you um, if we can quickly address this situation and get the planes out there uh, and to make sure that things are done in, uh, and uh, our stu students and our citizens are brought back. Uh, they're still here because even at the time when, we, when the House made that resolution, uh, it was shortly after that we found out that the Ukraine airports had been closed. If there's anything the House can do, Think the house can do to even accelerate or speed it up or make it easier for you we'll be more than happy to do that the bottom line is for, uh, for those who are willing to come back uh, for the government to be seen bring it back its um, citizens thank you very much uh, thank you very much your excellency uh, and uh, all the uh, honorable chairs and uh, members and countries did not believe that the russians would invade the americans evacuated the british evacuated but almost nobody else uh, did there are about 5,600 Nigerian students there, and maybe a total of about 8,000 Nigerians uh, in Ukraine. We were in touch with the chairman of Air Peace. At the time, he uh, indicated that he had two uh, planes, a 777 and an Airbus, ready to go. But of course, we had to also see with Mr. President very quickly. Last week, I went, saw him with the chief of staff, and uh, he approved that uh, we should uh, go ahead. Uh, with uh, with an airlift, so we negotiated with, uh, with 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 their peace, and I asked the ambassadors in those countries to give us an exact figure, or at least an approximate figure of the number of Nigerians who had made it to the respective countries, so we can now, you know, uh, decide on how to um, go and pick them up. So we have uh, tentatively fixed for Wednesday. The idea is Romania uh, is going to be the hub. And there are about a thousand already that we're uh, estimating to pick up from Romania. And um, then you have uh, Slovakia, about 200. Poland, uh, also about 250. And, uh, and Hungary, uh, the same figure. There are about 150 going into uh, wanting to go through Russia that we have asked uh, uh, students, our ambassador, to try and get transit um, permits uh, for. Essentially, that's where uh, we are uh, today, moving into that next phase of, um, you know, getting these people back. Of course, some of them don't want to come back uh, to the country, but the point is also that we've given a commitment to these transit countries uh, that have given us timelines for, um, for, for, for the refugees to stay uh, in their countries, you know, and um, so we also have an obligation to ensure that within that timeline that they come back. So this is where we are. We're really doing everything possible to ensure that come Wednesday uh, we start deploying planes uh, to go and uh, and get them uh, back.